Hey guys, a quick tour of how the Ultimate Upsell app works. Uh, first of all, I can create a new upsell or generate a new one, uh, a bundle or a la carte offer uh, automatically based on the past purchases. But I will create a manual one. I'll just skip the tour. First thing first, you need to define and choose a, an upsell type. So we can upsell individual products. For example, you sell watch and uh, you upsell indi individual straps of different colors on the product page. You can upsell a bundle with discount and this will create a new product inside your Shopify store where we can reduce the price and add other variants. And you can upsell also a bundle that will keep the original SKUs of your product. This is useful if you use a dropshipping app, for example, because you need to keep the original products in order to fulfill them. Um, so I will go with individual products, so a la carte offer, and I will upsell a bracelet. And if I tick the box here, I could upsell, I could let the customers select the different variants that they want. For example, they will be able to have a drop down and select a different size or a different color. Since I don't have any variants with this product, uh, I will let it without any variant. I'll just check the products that I have in my demo store. And I will also upsell and abstract. Let's keep it simple and you know that you can add unlimited products here. I'll just add one, uh, but you can add unlimited products and you can display them in one, two or three columns. Here are the options to decide where you want to display the upsell. The first option is to display on all products within a collection so for example you have a t-shirt collection and you want to upsell a pair of jeans or a hat on all the products inside this collection this will help you save a lot of time this is on a single product page it's the same logic this is on a collection page and not on a product this is on the cart page and this is on the thank you page which is which is also called the order status page after payment so the most popular locations are on the product page and the card page and the thank you page for now i will just make one upsell on this product page once you select the product where you want the upsells to be displayed you could save and it will automatically display if you visit this um if you visit this page and you click here and this will display sorry i didn't go to the right page so this should display in a notification top right the thank you pay uh, the thank you bracelet but if you want to add some styling to it you can add a title and you can also change from a notification top right to another location in the screen or to a pop-up or to inside the theme uh, right in inside of it so um, well, I can write the title this is a name only for admin so I'll call it like this so I rem if I create more upsells I remember uh, which one it is and if you go to click here on the bouncing setup word if you click here you will have more options within what we call the selector tool which is a widget at the bottom here that I can select different options and I click show and then I see okay this is how it will look as a pop-up I can also change the animation of the the upsell so this will slide for example this will fade I can again select 
a different kind. So this is more like a notification. And I could also change the image size to make it bigger. So if you have more than one products, uh, you can play with the image size according to the space that you have. And this is especially useful if you use the upsell type called inside theme. You click the button called location and here I can insert another product on my product page again I can change the image size for a smaller one and if I have more products I won't display it in one column I will display it in three columns but since I only have one I will center align it and choose one column and I click save. I go back to admin and if I go in my store I see the product that is there. We have two different add to cart button because this work out of the box uh, for some clients, we made some customization to have only one uh, add to cart button, but this is different for each team is built differently uh, with different code. So that's why we don't do this out of the box. If I want to change, for example, the button color, because it's white text here and black text there. So I'm going to put white and scroll down and click save, Re refresh, and you see that the button changed the color. So here when I add to cart I stay on the same page because I want the people to be able to add both products. But I could also go in my settings and change the action after the upsell is added to cart. You also have other options. For example, do not hide the upsell after customers add it to cart. So this would display again the upsell, even if I already have inside my cart. And now if I click add to cart, I change the behavior to be redire redirect to cart, but maybe it didn't uh, populate yet. But anyway, just that to say that you can, you have different options there. Okay, it's still. And you can change them as you want. Um, yeah, so if, for example, you want to add another product just to show you how it displays with more than one. So now I have two products. Obviously in real life I wouldn't upsell a, an add-on product which is the same as the product we are on to. Uh, but I'm just here to 
show you how it looks. So this is two columns and I have a box where I can select and add the cart. I could also again change the image size and I could as well go back to a flip notification like this or select a different location inside the theme, for example here. and have a beautiful page with two different products.